Hallelujah. What are you going to be remembered for? Look at somebody beside you and say, what are you going to be remembered for? You're, you're preaching your funeral right now while you're breathing. Amen? I get invitations or have got invitations all through these close to now 25 years of ministry and I've probably preached at more funerals of people I've never met while they were alive. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. I've preached at more funerals than I've preached at a lot of, of people I've never met or never knew. I had a, another preacher ask me one time, he said, Brother Mark, he said, I'm curious, how in the world can you preach a funeral of somebody like that you've never met? I said, it's easy. It's one word. You said preach a funeral but I'm going to put a T on A I preach at it I don't preach a funeral I preach at funeral yes. Come on, now. That's right. I said it's very simple the person the way they lived before they died come on somebody Glory. they preach their funeral yes. I just come to preach the gospel and I happen to be at a funeral when I preach it I said, the message is Jesus. The message is the cross. That's why I put a T on your A. And you, you preach, the, I just preach the same way I do if I'm in church. I go have church. Yeah. Down at cemetery, I mean seminary, hey man, they told us, hey man, don't do that. Don't use a funeral as an evangelistic outreach to try to win people to Christ. And my reply was, <laughs> come on somebody. Amen. Ecclesiastes 7 verses 2 said it's better to enter into the house of mourning, somebody say a funeral, than it is to go to the house of feasting, somebody say a party. Because this is the end of all men and the living will lay at the heart. When I heard that seminary, I mean that seminary teacher, preacher, hey man, so called, teaching that class that day back in 1999, do not use a funeral for an evangelistic outreach service to try to win souls. Immediately, Ecclesiastes 7 2 hit my spirit and erupted because I've always gave altar calls. Praise God. Amen. At the funerals I preach. Come on now. Come on. Good and only two out of many. Amen. It's the only time I've never seen somebody get saved. Praise God. I meet people this day that look at me in the face and say, I got saved at that funeral. Praise Amen. God. So I didn't listen to that cemetery. I mean seminary preacher. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I listened to the Holy Ghost. Because he said it's better to go to that house where there's a funeral going on and people are weeping and mourning. Praise God. Than to go to a place where everybody's having fun. Come on somebody and feast him. Because that's the end of all men. When they see the dead carcass laid before them in a casket. They see that's the end of all men. And that's their destiny as well. One day they're going to die. He said. And that's when those that are alive living will take it to heart. Come on somebody. What better time than to preach the gospel. Amen. And to give people an opportunity to get right with God. And friend, me and you both were preaching our funeral, right? Amen. Now the way we live our life, that's what we're going to be remembered for. Proverbs 10, verses 7, the Bible said, the memory of the just is blessed. Amen? But the name of the wicked shall rot or decay. Amen? Somebody shout the memory of the just. Yeah. Romans 5 and 1 said we're justified through faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody say justified. Yeah. Just as if we had never sinned. Come on somebody. Through faith in the shed blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. God said the memory of the righteous, the memory of the just shall be blessed. I don't know about you. I want my memory to be blessed. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I want it to be blessed that it was just. That it was righteous. The Bible said in Romans 1, 17, Herein is the righteousness of revealed, amen, from faith to faith, for the just shall live by faith. Somebody say, the just shall live by faith. Faith in God ain't just something I have. It ain't something I just do when I'm needing a miracle. It's a lifestyle. It's the way I live. Somebody shout, if your faith don't change the way you live, you ain't got faith in God. Faith in God will change the way you live. God said in John chapter 11, amen, and verses uh, 26, Jesus said, He that liveth and believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live again, believest thou this. Uh, this was Jesus' definition of faith. Uh, you live what you believe. He said, He that lives what he believes. Uh, somebody shout, If you don't live it, uh, you don't believe it. 
That's why I'll refer to it as believing what you believe in. Come on, somebody. If you believe it, but well, then you must believe it or it ain't real faith in God. Devils believe and tremble, James 2, 19. It's called demon faith. Somebody say demon faith. Demon faith is going to church, raising your hand, saying hallelujah. Come on, somebody. But before you get home on Sunday afternoon, your hell is done turned into hell. Come on, anybody hear the Holy Ghost? And you go right back to your sinful lifestyle until next Sunday comes around. Somebody shout, that's a hypocrite. Demon faith. Praise God, and it'll take you to hell with the devil himself. Hallelujah. The devil believes. He even trembles. But somebody shout, he ain't saved because he don't live what he believes. Somebody shout, faith in God is a lifestyle. It's not just something I say with my mouth. It's more than a confession. It's more than a profession. For the Bible said in Titus 1 and 16, they profess with their mouths that they knew him. That means they profess with their mouths they have faith in God. But yet they denied him in their works. Their works would mean their lifestyle. That means they said on Sunday morning, glory to you, Jesus. But come Monday, they went right back to their hellish, sinful lifestyle. Come on, bless God on Sunday and curse their neighbor come Monday. Anybody hear the Holy Ghost? It means it's easy to say the faith. Amen. But do you live the faith? The Bible said in the Word of God in Habakkuk chapter, I believe it's uh, 2 verses 4, he said, Habakkuk, the prophet, was the first one to say this David. He said, the just shall live his faith. Now Paul spoke to the Romans and said, again in Romans 1.17, the just shall live by his faith. But Habakkuk made it a little bit more personal. He said, the just shall live his faith. Wow. Somebody shout, the just shall live faith. That don't mean I'm just living by faith. Trusting God to pay my water bill. Trusting God to pay my light bill. Trusting God for this. Trusting God for that. No, this means this is the way I live. I contend for the faith that's been once delivered unto me as a saint. Come on. Amen. Jude verses 3. That means I stand by faith. 1 Corinthians 1 24. I walk by faith. 2 Corinthians 5 7. Walk means I live by it. Again, it's just another word for living. Come on. That means I stand for the faith. I, I don't compromise it. I, I don't take it up on Sunday and let down come Monday. Come on somebody. I, I don't have faith in God at church and then at my place of employment because of some rule changes. Uh, amen. Glory to God. And they tell me I, I can't live my faith here. I, I don't lay my faith. I don't leave my faith at the house in the living room. Uh, come on somebody. I live out loud wherever I go. Uh, I don't pray silent prayers. Uh, amen. At ball games or no other. Amen. Assembly of anything world. Uh, I open my mouth unashamedly and I call on his name. Uh, come on somebody. I live out loud. Uh, I live my faith. Somebody say, live your faith. If you really believe, you'll believe. You'll, you'll live what you believe. And, and we're going to re be remembered for how we believed. Hello? How we believed what we believed. Amen? I know of people right now in my mind, and sad to say, some of them is still the same way. And if I attend their funeral in a few days, all I'm going to be able to remember them about is they went to church on Sunday. But as soon as church was over, they was just like me at the time, a sinner, all over again. No, 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 no. Wow. Praise God. No, I